to my awesome Sparkies this week. I am very excited. Um, my school's almost over. I hope yours is getting close. I know it's got to be because May is coming up, and it's always May that we end in, but I don't know what's going on with all your schedules. But it's been really, really crazy, and I hope that you guys have not had as insane of a couple of weeks as I have, but we will find out. So I have a couple of quick announcements for you guys, or hopefully we'll find out. Hopefully you'll email me and we'll find out. Uh, quick announcements. Um, we are still trying to make certain that you guys get your Awana Bucks because we are going to be doing a store at the end of the year. So we have come up with a couple ways besides just doing sections that you can earn bucks. Um, the first one is participation. So like obviously I don't know who's watching the videos and who's not. I can see how many people watch it, but like, you know, my grandma watches it. She doesn't count as Awana. I mean, she's Awana people, but she's not a child. So, you know, I don't know which ones of you are watching it, but if you watch the video and you make a comment, like if you're watching it on Facebook and you just type in real quick something you liked about it, or uh, you send me an email and you were like, uh, King David was awesome, wish I could throw stones like that, or, you know, why on earth did he do the bad things he did, or, you know, just something. Like, my favorite part was X, Y, or Z. Just tell me something, and I will give you guys two Awana bucks just for doing that, okay? Um, the other thing you could do is some sort of activity. So... You guys know I have pictures that go along with these, but my scanner doesn't scan on my computer. So I'm trying to find a way to uh, get them uploaded so you guys could actually have them. Um, and I haven't figured it out yet, but you guys could color your own picture until then. Um, and that again would be another two bucks just for doing your activity, sending me a picture of it so I know you actually did it. Um, let's see, I'm trying to make sure and I get it all in there. Again, you can still do things like your pledges. Um, that's a, a five bucks. I think it's five bucks. I'll check it. I definitely have all of these amounts written down somewhere. I just don't remember. I think it's five bucks. Um, you get bucks still for doing your book completions. So if you finish your book, that's ten Oana bucks. Big smackaroons. Like, I keep track of it. I will put it all in your envelopes, and you will have just that much more extra money to spend when we come back to Oana, okay? The other thing is sections. Normally, you guys only get two bucks for doing those. We'd like to up that. I'm not entirely certain yet if it's gonna be four bucks or if we're gonna give you five bucks, but we're gonna give you a little extra because we know that right now it's really hard to get sections done and we wanna reward you for the extra work you're doing. Uh, on top of, I know like you guys have all that online class and like that's gotta be hard. And So those are a couple things we're doing. Um, I think, let me make certain I've gotten all of it because I don't wanna accidentally lie to you guys. Participation, activity, sections. Oh, awards, of course, you guys, if you get awards, like if you earn your jewels or, well, finish a book or whatever it is that you normally get awards for, um, you'll get your five bucks for that as well. And I think <laughs> that's everything. <laughs> okay, it looks like that's everything. The last thing I wanted to say is the Awana group that we have on Facebook is a closed group. I know that a lot of people are probably concerned, like, I would be if my kids information was we're not putting any kids informations or pictures at the very least without permission but I don't think we're putting any up there so I'll make that clarification right now um, it is a closed private group you can only get in invitation only um, and I believe if I'm correct about this that Miss Sue has to approve it Facebook page is something different but the group is private um, so feel free to post on there if your kid is ready for sections or whatever I was told that the Paramount Awana Yahoo email is still acting up. So if you want to get in touch with this, uh, most of you, if not all of you, should have Mr. S Mr. Greg and Ms. Sue's um, email address. And if you don't, you have mine. So if you're not getting an answer from the Yahoo one, um, then send one to me because I will answer you. <laughs> um, and I think that that is everything. Um, I'm trying to remember if last week, if we talked about uh, the question from the last lesson I did that was pictures. Um, and I don't remember. I think we did. So I'm going to skip it and I'll go back and watch. And if we didn't, we'll run an extra one next week and y'all will be bored just a little bit longer. Okay, so last time we talked about King David and we talked about how uh, he made mistakes and he had to live with the consequences and he reigned for, I don't remember how many years, but a lot of them before he died. But right before he died, do you guys remember that he made King Solomon the next king of Israel? Okay, right before he died, this is King Solomon. Um, he gets a scroll. I'm not really certain why the scroll was there, but he appointed Solomon as the next king, okay? 
So then, after Solomon becomes king, he goes up to the tabernacle. Remember, that's the place where God is. So he goes up to, the, to God to offer a burnt offering. The Lord appeared to Solomon. Remember, my purple triangle. What does that mean? Right, that's God, right? So God came and he appeared before Solomon. And he asked Solomon what he, what he should give him. He's like, I'm going to give you a gift. What do you want? Okay. Now Solomon could have asked for anything in the whole wide world. Like, what are some things that you guys would ask for if God was just like, I'm going to give you something. What do you want? Um, I'd be like, student loans, could you pay those off? Or like, you know, make me taller. I'm really short. You guys know I'm really short. I'd love to be taller. Like, you know, maybe Solomon was going to ask to be a mighty king, like a really great warrior, because, you know, the lot of fight a lot of battle, battles back then. So, you know, he'd ask for anything. What do you think he asked for? No idea what any of you guys are thinking, but I have the answer for you, okay? So Solomon asked for wisdom and knowledge so that he knew how to lead the people God gave him to rule over, okay? He was like, I don't know what I'm doing, and wisdom and knowledge would help me. So because he asked for such a really smart thing, God gave him wisdom and knowledge, and he also gave him riches and wealth and honor. He was honored more than any king before or after him. That's really cool. Like, God was like, that was really smart of you. Like, I'm really proud of you. Let me reward you beyond that. Like, oh, that was pretty cool. Goodness gracious, my nose has been so itchy. I'm waiting for a sneeze, guys. It's allergy season. How many of you guys have allergies? Uh -huh. So, Israel is now being ruled by King Solomon the Wise. Um, and because he was wise, like, he began to grow in the amount of land that he controlled. Um which is kind of cool because Israel had some land and then they got more land, but they did it while they were resting from war. So like they're not fighting to get this land. Um, this is a story, Mr. me and Mr. David were talking about to kind of uh, give an example of Solomon's wisdom. So there were two ladies and one baby, it died in the middle of the night, which is really sad. But the lady, the mom whose, whose baby had died, she went into the other mom's house and she stole her baby from her and replaced it with the dead baby which is like, I mean, that's really bad. Um, she was just so sad she didn't have a baby. Well, when they woke up in the morning, the mom who now had the, she had the living baby, but she was given the dead one. She's like, where's my kid? I don't understand. This isn't my baby. They took it to King Solomon. And he was trying to figure out how we're going to know which baby is whose baby, okay? Who really has the living baby? So what he tells them is they should cut the baby in half and just each take a half home. You guys think that was a really good plan? Like, I thought Solomon was supposed to be, like, really smart, right? Really wise. Doesn't he know that cutting a baby in half would kill it? But what he knew was that the mom of the baby who was still alive, she wouldn't want that to happen. And he was right. The mom was like, no, 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 no. Like, she can keep the baby. Like, don't cut the baby. She can have all the halves. And then he knew that that was the mom, and he told her to take the baby and go home and live her happy life. And the other one got in trouble, which is how it should be. But, like, I would never have thought to say something like that to draw out the real mom. Like, would you guys have thought of that? I mean, you might have. A lot of you guys are smarter than me. But, like, Solomon was really wise, so it's no surprise that he was able to grow his land without using war. So they got to rest from war. So that's really awesome. Now, Solomon was a very wealthy king. We kind of talked about how God gave him wealth because he asked for the right things. So he spoke 3,000 proverbs, which are wise sayings okay that they're it's a very big variety so i can't really give you a good example but they're just wise sayings that you can listen to and they're wisdom and um you can learn from them he wrote 1005 songs throughout his whole lifetime and he had such wisdom and knowledge that men from other countries like other kings and other queens they'd come and they would want to listen to what solomon had to say they'd ask him for his advice on how to rule their kingdoms which is pretty cool because like most kings and queens, they don't they don't want to be like, I don't know what to do, what should I do? Like they don't want to ask advice, especially from other kings. But Solomon was just that wise. Now you guys remember that King David had wanted to build a temple for God. But they told him, no, you have to wait. Solomon's going to be king. You don't get to build it. Solomon's going to do it. Well, now Solomon is king. And Solomon recognized that God kept his promise in making him king. So he started to build the temple. See, here's my half of the temple. He's got the plans in his hand, and they're working on building the rest of it, okay? 
So he starts building the temple. And once the temple is complete, Solomon and all the children of Israel, they gather around it and they dedicate it to God. So they offer sacrifices and they sing and praise him. And, and God made his presence known. See the triangle over the temple? Um, he made his presence known. He came and he consumed their sacrifices and offerings. He did it with fire from heaven. That only happens, I think, twice that I know of. There might be a couple more. But it doesn't happen a whole ton. Fire comes down from heaven and consumes his offering. That's like God's way of like kind of saying thanks and acknowledging it. Like it's really cool, I think. Um, like he's really happy that they made this, and his glory just fills the temple. So Solomon finally got to build that temple that we have been hearing about for like four stories now. But Solomon is human, and we've already talked about how humans mess up, right? We all sin. We're all not perfect. We all do bad things, whether we mean to or not. Like, I fight with Mr. David. He fights with me. He's better about it than I am. I I get emotional. <laughs> and then I just start, like, you don't want to be around me. Um, so Solomon, of course, messes up, okay? So this is our picture of Solomon being bad. Solomon had more than one wife at the same time. Like, you guys know sometimes, like, a wife dies and a husband remarries. That wasn't what happened. Solomon had... I think, okay, Solomon had 700 wives at one time. That's a lot of women. It's a lot. And God told them, it was in Deuteronomy, he told them not to have more than one marriage. Don't do it. It's bad. I know the rest of the cultures are doing it, like everyone around you is doing it. It's the cool thing to do, but you shouldn't do it. God says so. And he goes and marries 700 women. Why? Like, what the heck? And God told him when you get married, you shouldn't marry people that don't believe in God. Okay? You want to marry somebody who worships God like you do. It's part of how you grow in a marriage, right? Um, so he told him not to do that. And he went and he married anybody he wanted to. It didn't matter if they believed in God. He had 700 wives. And then he didn't want to face his sin. So he goes and starts worshiping false gods. And these things were all evil in the sight of God. He had showed Solomon himself twice. And Solomon goes and he's unfaithful. So he's got a bad heart towards God, even though like his dad was like really faithful and he started out really faithful, right? But he's not now. He's being bad. Because of his disobedience, Israel is going to be taken away from his son after his death. So when Solomon dies, his son's not going to be king. Some nation is going to come and take Israel away because Solomon was bad. So remember how we talked about your sin affects other people. What's going to happen to his son? Normally when a nation gets taken away, it's like in war or something. Like, is, is his son going to be okay? Like, who knows? But it's because Solomon sins. Remember, you got to think your sin affects other people, not just yourself. And just, it's, you want to, you want to not sin because you love God. Like, it's not even because of the consequences, which there are consequences and that's good to know. But like, I don't want to fight with David because I love him. You know, so you want to be listening to God because you love him. So Solomon, here we go. Solomon died after being king of Israel for 40 years. He was a really wise king. Um, he had made a lot of mistakes there towards the end, but he did really good things for Israel before then, okay? Do you guys remember what Solomon, what did he ask God for? Wisdom and knowledge. Right? He was like, God, I need wisdom and knowledge. I've got to lead these people and I don't know what I'm doing. And God was like, granted, all yours. Take it. Um, when Israel, uh, when Solomon was king, Israel was united. They were like all together. They all wanted the same stuff kind of thing. Um, they were very large and like they got a lot of money and land and I'm sure cattle and chicken and you know, whatnot that you eat. Um, what did Solomon build that David was not allowed to build? You guys remember that thing we talked about for like three lessons? God told David, you're not going to, your son's going to do it. And what did Solomon build? That's right, the temple, finally, remember? Do I have the picture here? Yeah, they built that giant temple they've been talking about for like, goodness, 40 years by now. Like, it's, we've been talking about it a long time. Do you guys remember, we just talked about it. What did Solomon do that was bad? What were the bad things he did? He worshipped false gods. Remember, they had the big, where is it? I got my picture here. 
Remember they had the big, like, I don't know. It's like an Easter Island head that I drew. I don't, it's the false god, okay? They're worshiping the false god. And he married, here's the women. He married a bunch of women at the same time and not they didn't worship the true gods. See, they're worshiping false gods, okay? So those were the three really big things he did that were really bad. Remember? Um, all right, so then we're down to the last question. I, mean, I want you guys, if you can, email me in an answer or a thought or a question and just make some sort of comment, something. But what do we learn about God from this story? What can we be taught from this story? They have an answer. I have a different answer. Let's see what kind of answers you guys. There's more than one right answer. I want to know what you guys are learning. Like, Scarlett answered a question two weeks ago. <laughs> And she didn't have the answer that they put on the paper, but it was still a really good answer. And I was really glad to hear that that's what she've learned from the lesson. So I want to know, what do you guys think? Email me, comment on Facebook. I don't know. Let me know something. Like, I'm, I'm fairly, fairly certain that, like, none of you exist anymore. Like, Anna snapped his fingers and y'all all are gone because I only hear from two of you. So, like, I'm really missing out on my sparky time. Email me. Let me know that you're still alive and breathing, okay? We love you guys. We'll see you next week.